Hey friends, so today I wanted to talk a little bit about one of my favorite plants, mullen. And it's such a great one to take advantage of for medicine because it's super abundant and has so many medicinal properties. So before we get into the medicinal qualities of mullen, let's just check it out and make sure that we're working with the right plant. So the first year mullen actually we can see down here grows really nice close to the ground has these beautiful soft leaves but the second year plant decides to just shoot for the stars <laughs> grows way up into these beautiful flower seed heads and its leaves cling to the spine of it so you can see here that this one is kind of hugging tight until it starts to break off there and these ones are as well very 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 soft and make a great toilet paper alternative so you'll start you'll start to see some of the features here um, as we go through the plant and its medicinal qualities. So basically mullen, when I think of mullen, I think of something that is good for your lungs. Any like these big lung-like leaves are just so great for making into a tea to get rid of that deep lung catarrh and kind of work with dry hot lung conditions. Make these leaves and harvest them and make them into a tincture um, but I love making them as a tea and find them to be really effective. You can also put them, um, dry them up and put them in a smoking blend. You can smoke them by themselves um, or you could mix it with other herbs. If you're somebody who smokes a lot of marijuana you might want to dry a little bit of mullen from your yard and pop it in there with the marijuana to try to ease some of the effects of uh, smoking. These beautiful yellow flowers that sort of just pop out all over the place are very medicinal. You can just collect them and wilt them a little bit and pop them into some oil of your choice, whether that be olive oil or grapeseed oil or something like that and soak them in there for about four weeks and then you strain off the flowers and you have a beautiful ear earache remedy for the winter time so say your kid has an ear infection you could just take some of that ear oil mix a little bit of fresh garlic in there and simmer it a little bit on the stove and cool it down and drop a little bit into the ear so that's not for any sort of broken eardrum, anything like that, but earaches, this has antimicrobial, anti-inflammatory and analgesic properties, which basically just means it's going to help your ears feel better and, <laughs> um, you know, that's something that a tiny little flower growing in your backyard can help with. You can also use that same ear oil on your jaw if you get TMJ and rub it in to work with that. Okay, so back in the house I have my mullen leaves drying and this is just basically an old shoe rack super easy in a room that doesn't have direct sunlight coming into it and then I have a fan blowing at it so they dry quite fast and these little mid ribs are a little bit more they take a long a little bit longer to dry so sometimes if they don't dry and the outside leaf part is ready you can just strip it away from this mid rib and keep the rest for your tea cut okay so here we are in the apothecary and I have my mullen and what you can do is actually just crush up the leaves with your hands really fine and pop them into your jar Sometimes if they're still a little bit big in the jar, I stick my hand right in a clean hand, of course, and crush them up and just work with the leaf a little bit until it's a nice fine tea cut. I um, also like to keep the lid off just for a few days just to make sure if there was 
any moisture, absolutely any moisture that it can be shaken up every couple days and make sure that that dries out. Mm -hmm.